Hello and welcome to the tenth IGCSC Maths tutorial. And today, um, we're doing negative numbers and maybe even more. So, um, we're welcome. Congratulations if you made it this far. You're now in chapter two, algebra one. This is on page fifty-one, and this is on two point one negative numbers. Okay. So, you probably have heard what negative numbers are before. Negative numbers are numbers with like a, I don't know, like a negative, a basically a negative sign for them. For example, if it's really cold, for example, in Antarctica, they can get temperatures of like negative 50 degrees, degrees Celsius. This negative sign here tells us it's below, below, zero it's not like zero point zero zero one it's just under zero negative one if you draw a number line like this zero here you got you got one here and then this one you have negative one this is this is the negative number range and this is the um natural number although they're not necessarily natural they're just positive so just make that a bit clearer, positive, negative, and positive. And this number here tells us it's 50 below, below, zero. So on a number line, it's sort of like this. And it's going to go to 50 here, L zero, and then L negative 50. Negative numbers aren't all that hard to understand. So, um, we're going to actually, um, use negative numbers to, um, uh, do some calculations. Now, I can think of, um, temperatures, thermometers when we do this. So, suppose the temperature right now, I need to... Um, 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 um. Suppose the temperature right now... Is negative two degrees C, and it rises by seven. By seven. So what's the new temperature? It's gonna be five. Five degrees C. We can write this like this. Seven plus minus. Oops. Minus two plus seven equals equals five. Yep. So negative numbers aren't that hard. Um. Um, yeah. So, if we move into actually, uh, um, 2.2 .2 directed numbers. Uh, on page 53. 53. We can actually do some calculations. Go on and do some calculations. Most of these are really easy, so, um, let's try... Question 60. 60. Which is 47 minus minus 16. So what do we do here? When we've got a minus and a minus, equals plus. This is, so you can sort of think the mine, this one going sort of like that, just to make a plus. So this is actually negative 47 plus 16, and negative 47 plus 16, this sort of like, uh, um, I do it like this, I sort of do it like a 40, 40, mm, 47 minus 16. Which is then equal to, um, 
which is then equal to um hmm, one thirty one. I just took a negative sign of that, so that's why it's a negative 31. Okay. And when we multiply, we need to know some rules. Okay. We're still on the same page. So, so when you have plus, plus, times plus, we will get plus. When we have plus times negative, we will get negative. If we have negative times plus, then we have negative. And if we have negative times negative, we have Plus. So basically, if the signs are different, it's going to be negative. This is multiplication and division. So, um, let's do an exercise. We've got our rules, and we can just do an exercise. Um, 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 um. Uh, let's try exercise. Um, 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 um. Okay, um, yeah, um, um, uh, uh, okay, it was a nice one, uh, okay, negative 6 times negative 1, negative 6 times negative 1, negative 6 times negative 1, what are the signs, they're both negative, so we're going to have a positive number, so that just tells us the answer is 6. Equals, equals equal to is six. Ah, uh, what about what about what about what about eleven times negative eleven? Well, what's eleven times eleven? Is one hundred thirty-two. Um, mm, sorry, no, no, no. It's eleven times twelve. Um, um, one hundred twenty-one. Um, uh, and then since they they're different, we're gonna have negative one two one. So clear the board. Um, and we've still got a bit of time for formulae. So, a formula, in essence, is what we use to uh, when we're going to do a calculation many times. For example, you may have heard of the area of a triangle formula. Right angle triangle. So, A equals B times H. Where this is the base and this is the height. So one half the base times the height. That would have given us a form for a rectangle. And um, yeah, for example, and if we've done physics, you might know. And actually, if you've done physics, you might know the. Uh, uh, the. Uh, what is it? What is it? Um, if you've done physics, you might know. What is it? Uh, you might know the GPE formula. GPE formula equals uh, the mass in newtons times the height. Height. Jesus. Okay. So, um, that is uh, what we did. So these are all formulas. And uh, publishers might use a formula to see here to, to f work out the selling price of the book based on the production costs. But that's a reasonably complicated formula. So we can, for example, here it says the final speed of V, V of a car, so the here it's telling us that V is the speed, is 15 meters a second. Uh, sorry. It's given by the formula V equals U plus A T. It says find V when U equals 15, A equals 0 0.2, and T equals 30. So what we do is we just substitute into the formula. So we know so V is equal to so what is um U? 
U is U here is fifteen. So it's fifteen times what to A? And when we see two numbers, two um letters next to each other, they just multiply. And it's why is that times so it should be plus. Fifteen plus it says A T. So T is thirty and A is zero point two. Thirty times zero point two is our six and fifteen plus six is equal to fifteen plus six is equal to twenty one. So formula also not hard when you're substituting things into a formula. But some Yeah, 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 yeah. Um formula Okay, let's do a really complicated formula. They're all the same thing really. So, let's try question 17 on page 57. Okay, here's our formula. 17. K squared. K squared. 2M minus N. K squared. Where K equals 3. K equals negative 3, actually. M equals 1. And N n equals negative 4. So, let's start. k squared. What's a negative number squared? It's going to be um, a negative number squared. It's always going to be um, positive. So, um, that's just going to be... It's going to be... Um, um, 9. Oopsie. Alright. 9, and then 2m, m is 1, 2, 1, minus 4, actually plus 4, minus minus 4, so 2, 1, 2 times 1 is equal to uh, 2, plus 4, equals 6, and then 9 times 6 is uh, uh, 54. <laughs> And um, that's about it for now. And um, next time we'll see you on 58, page 58 for 2.4 for brackets and simplification. The distributive law. So, um, yeah. Um, I guess we'll see you next time. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comment section. But for now, I will um, see you on the next tutorial.